Pulse phone. I'll, I'll erase the option. Tha. Some again. Okay, now carry on. Uh, the, the best problem for students to really make observation because they, they're the last at least uh, uh, as a teacher know what happened I should really put this particular question for students okay first read the question and uh, you can use constant equations no the idea of constant equation you can take help of it I'll give some five minutes timer to crack this So look at the point, the dotted D, and it's telling something point D, that the point D is what you have to guess it. What is that point D? It's the center of indicate pulley. Well, the point D is a point on a rope near the bottom of the middle pulley. Point D is on a rope, and the block Q is connected to the pulley. So I think overall, the setup, that's a bit you find difficult. I'll, I'll help you with the diagram. I'll help you with the diagram. So there's a pulley. So there's a speed of point A three, sir. Ah, okay, fine, fine. Speed of speed point of A. Ah, speed of point A will be three. Yeah, just no need to repeat repeat the answers. Just wait for some time. Let everyone concentrate. That then you can give the answers. Huh? Please wait. Don't tell answers immediately. No, no need to tell answers. Just, just, just have patience. Have patience. Solve everything. Solve complete. Don't tell individual answers. One meter per second. The pulley is. Pulley C, point B, point E.
the same rope and I'll, I'll making little bit thick so that you'll understand. Okay, the point D. Point D, what happened? Uh, the, the, the D, no, the pulley block Q will be connected on back side of the pulley, that one. That, that's what he mean to say. Okay, so the, the, the diagram, you, you are supposed to assume the diagram of this condition. So here is the block. Sir, does it make any difference? <laughs> to make you think on a problem, no? Why it will make difference to make you understand the question? What happened? He has put a diagram like this. It's simplifying your thinking and you're complicating your thinking. Okay, no. Uh, say, like, say, it's quite, uh, some of you are thinking very big. Huh? I can connect it here or here, no? To, sh to, to show that particular rope, the point you open, you just made connection like this. Huh? I think you are able to, if this is no, so I can connect from here, from the behind or from here, no? Okay, able to make it out? The block queue is suspended from the pulley only. So I'll, I'll Add that information also. Block. It's suspended <coughs> from pulley P. Hmm, okay, now, so look at this. Uh, where is the point D? The point D is what I'll, I'll indicate here. The, the green color I'm indicating, this is a point D. So point D is what? On a rope. Point D, point D is a, D is a, well, point D is a point on a rope near the bottom of the middle pulley. Okay, got this. And what is that dotted line? It's a string again. What is this? This is a string again. Okay, now no, I think so, some things are very simple, no? What is the acceleration of uh, A, B, C, D? So let's calculate acceleration of point A. I'm indicating the points. Uh, any formula? I think some constant equation. I told you acceleration of pulley, uh, it should be equal to acceleration of S should be equal to acceleration of P plus acceleration of A by 2. Can you remember this formula? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, here is your velocity. <coughs> There's a point P. The P is connected. The block Q is suspended by to the pulley. What pen? Uh, on the behind the rope, it will be there. So uh, th this is something very important. Uh. So I, I can connect it here, no? I can connect the pin front or from the back, no? A able to make it out? I can connect it like this. Okay, now, now come for this. Acceleration of S plus one. Anything upward, I'll take positive. So this should be plus one, equal to acceleration of point P, minus one. Sir, here velocities are given, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry, velocity, sir. I'll write velocity.
sir whole divided by 2 sir whole divided by 2 and this will be va will be i i got a plus 3 what do you mean by that upward okay now come for the velocity of point c uh, the the velocity of uh, b will calculate so i got velocity of a so i'll i'll use the formula vq bar equal to va bar plus vb bar by 2 <coughs> uh, now now do we know vq s minus 1 va is how much plus 3 Plus B B by two. B B equal to minus five meter per second. What do you mean by minus five? Downward. Uh, can we calculate velocity of point C? Yes, it is. So V C is equal to V B plus V R by two. V B is minus five. V R is plus two by two. Minus one point five meter. Per second. Okay, I think we got all the things. No velocity of a, b, and c. Velocity of point D. Okay, let's see what actually. Sir. Yeah. Sir, here that block Q is connected from back of the pulley, right, sir? Back of the pulley. Yeah, that's all, ma. And the and that the point D lies on the thread. The point D lies on the pulley. That one. So here, here, I think I'll give one diagram. Ah, sir, P is a point on the rope, sir. Open eyes, open eyes, please open eyes. Sir, it's sir, given the question. What is asking? Huh? Point D, D note. Point on a rope. No, I'll, I'll, I'll just have patience. I'll explain everything. Huh? So here I'm connecting like this. Huh? And and the point D is here. Huh? I think I'll show by other color. So the string will pass like this. No, the string will pass like this. at least at least please understand so it's a very simple observation is what you have to make it huh? only one line i'll draw it huh? that will be sufficient this is a rope okay at least now fine you can you can <coughs> connect on left or right side no i can suspend from wherever i want no problem hmm. okay no uh. so d is a point on a rope there is a rope See that's why I'm telling you the physical world is very important. Lack of the physical world, zero idea of physical world is what all this trouble. The point D is on a rope. Okay, got it? No. Yes, sir. Huh? There's no problem with your thinking ability. There's no problem with your analyzing ability. The absolute world, you you, because our Indian culture will permit you to. Not experiment outside world. Not we don't we don't want to see the outside world. That's a major problem. You should look at the outside world. Outside world means not going some to some trip. Objects around us. We must have a basic idea. Keen observation should be made. He's asking the velocity of point D. Okay, let's do one thing. Uh, what happened to rope? The rope will slip on the pulley. No, I think this is what happens. The pulley will not rotate. The rope will the slip on the pulley. That's why I told you unless you don't purchase one pulley and seat, not possible. On paper, not possible, and nobody can do that. I'm telling, I'm making clear. On paper, nobody in the world can really analyze anything. 
they must have at least physical idea 150 rupees is their pulley you purchase it so what happened actually the rope the rope will slip on the pulley this is what actually practically happens i'll i'll come to the this one practically what happened the rope slides on the pulley or you can say the rope slips on pulley because how the blocks will move only when the rope will start moving no so here what is the velocity of point d now so as the pulley uh, pulley p is moving down so shall we write now velocity of point p should be equal to velocity of q will i agree this and what is the rope the point d on a rope is in contact with the pulley so the point d will have velocity along y axis and how much it should be equal to velocity of point p or velocity of q that one so we know it is downward no so what is velocity of d now should be 1 meter per second downward will i agree all of you the rope is in contact with the pulley as the pulley moves so the point d will also have velocity now look at the point b and d what is the velocity of b velocity of b is downward <coughs> 5 meter so i'll i'll give one diagram at least you make observation of this i i'm not going to show that q all only this one so this is the point b this is the point a now what is the velocity of point a upward 3 meter per second this is the downward 5 meter per second and this is the point b no it will have velocity two components no one v d y another is v d x will i agree this the point on a rope the point on a rope here what when the point on on a vertical part of rope will have 5 meter by the time it comes here its velocity will change by the time it comes at d no its velocity of the point will not be horizontal vertical will be somewhere like this so here that's why i wrote v d y not v d bar uh, are you making observation thus there's a point on a rope when it is at b what happen it have 5 meter so the moment it starts coming here its velocity will change so when the same point arrives here it have velocity like this then again its velocity will be like this so by the time point arrives on the vertical part here it will uh, it will start having velocity upward getting the method because a point on a rope what happen will pass like this because the blocks are moving up and down no so pulley will not rotate only what happen the string here what happen the point here what happen will take a circular path here and will move up look, try to look at the spot i'm moving it's a point on a rope when the point is at b it will have velocity 5 meter and it's velocity 5 meter now what happen its velocity changes then somewhere here at this point it'll have velocity like this then then here velocity like this then by the time it arrives here <laughs> on the vertical part it will have velocity upward is asking now the velocity of the point on a rope which is just below the pulley got the idea now Uh, now how to calculate v d x? How to calculate that v d x? V d y we got it. Why v d y? Because the vertical displacement of point D should be equal to the vertical displacement of the pulley because the string is in contact with the pulley. Ah uh, yes, anybody? Velocity of the point v d x. So I'll I'll write one equation. So it it should be the uh, its average speed of that is what you have to take it no. So this will be eight by two. Yes, sir. So velocity of point d should be equal to in what direction? Should be like this. So velocity of point D, I'll, I'll write expression for velocity of point D should be equal to minus v d x i cap minus v d y j cap. So velocity of point D should be equal to v d x whole square v d y whole square. So this should be equal to root of four square plus one square root seventeen meter per second. 
okay fine uh, why 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 i took uh, average because the point what happened it's having 5 meter and it it is having 3 meter and <laughs> i'm asking exactly point below the point on a rope which is below the point p center of the pulley so it must have here the average speed only okay got this so uh, why why i brought this uh, particular numerical to show that the string will the point on a rope what happen will pass over a pulley will not be there only because we are bothered more about the ox here what happen a point on a rope it will move around so i'll i'll uh, once again concluding it a point on a rope here when the point is at b what is the speed 5 meter then 5 meter the moment it comes in contact with the pulley the particular point on a rope its velocity now will be somewhere like this sir. then here it will be in this direction then 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 the moment it arrives on the vertical part of the left vertical part it will have velocity upward okay now now this this another way this one mm -hmm. yeah the wedge shown can slide without friction horizontal floor mass of the wedge is m and its angle of inclination theta equal 30 degree a block of mass m slide down the wedge